See, it's you know, bad. I was, I was, I was telling somebody, I was telling somebody, I was talking the other day with somebody, and I was, the, um, I, I was like reflecting back on when I was in Nigeria, mm-hmm. and I would hear a lot of people say, um, people that go to abroad. And what they do is they are cleaning people's bomb. They are cleaning old people's bomb. And one in Yoruba, they say, I want no, I want no, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, but I'm like, ignorance is like now the information I have now is like, these people are so ignorant. Like they don't know what's really going on. Know what that is. Because before you can be allowed to do that kind of job, you must be certified. <laughs> certified in the sense that you must have either a CPR or a first aid before you can even go into that field. That's true. You must have CPR or first aid. I mean, tell me, if people have the opportunity to do those kind of things in yeah. Nigeria, do you know like how many people that are on unemployed that will be on em- that will be employed that will, that will be employed that will be employed i'm like so if you travel all the way and what is called is not nube nube it's ah. called yeah exactly it's called being an healthcare assistant ah. so if you're an healthcare assistant you can work in people's home as home care as a support worker you can work as a healthcare assistant in um, long-term cares so it's not nube nube anything you have to be certified to do those kind of job it's in like the way people actually picture. Like, oh my god, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not that bad. Like it's not that bad. Like, it's not gonna be like. Even if, you see, Ola, even if they think it's bad, even if you think it's bad, it's a job. You get paid after you do it. It's as in, you- let me bust your bubble. As an RN, your patients will poop and you will clean it. As an RN, I'm telling you today. So if you are thinking that people in Nigeria are saying, ah, you go and be cleaning, maybe in Nigeria or maybe <laughs> as a, your patient poops, you don't clean it. But here, if your patient poops, you will clean it. You will bathe them in the morning. You will bathe them in the morning. They will poop in the afternoon. Poop again. Oh my God. And you will clean it. So tell me, what are, what are, we, now, what are we talking about? Do you have patients that are um, paraplegic. Paraplegic means that maybe they're um, paralyzed from the neck down. They can't move or they are hemiplegia. Okay, let me not use all those technical terms. Like They are paralyzed and they can't move. They can't do anything. You have to clean them. Hmm. You have to, you have to bait them. So what are we talking about? Oh my God. Um, someone said, someone said, um, okay, said, what course would you advise for someone that did law degree? Tola, please go away from this place. That yeah, studied law in Nigeria. Oh. Come on, do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> someone that studied law in Nigeria. What would yeah. I advise you to come and study here? Ah, man. Come on. You, can <laughs> you can decide to do any other aspect of law, like maybe. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe um family lawyer. Huh? Yeah, paralegal or something like that. I don't know. You can see but it's not we're not saying that we're not saying that if you have those if you study those things, there's no job market for you. It's just that you have to do extra work, you have to network. Yeah, that's just the thing. But there are some jobs that are readily the job mm-hmm. might open up to you. Like if you're a mechanic. Ah. If, you're, if you're an engineer, if you're an engineer. There's a big job market for engineers here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and if you're healthcare, yeah. If you're, yeah, IT, computer scientist, or yeah. if you study computer science, that is another big money for you. So, if you study all this coding, IT. Coding now. Kill us off. I learn coding. So, I I think I learned coding, but I don't have interest in that part of it. Yeah, but. Yeah, I'm seeing it. Oh man, that really does not look like normal thing. <laughs> it's like it's something like it's oh, not is a joker. Yeah. Also, what amount of money should one have as bank statement to apply, or do you need to pay for this? School? You need to pay the school first. I feel like very important for first semester to just yeah. to come in, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think um so in when it comes to that aspect. Mm-hmm. So, if you're applying to a school and the school gives you an offer letter, some schools will ask you to pay your acceptance fee before mm-hmm. you get the acceptance letter. Is the acceptance letter that like gives you that helps you to be the? 
it's with the acceptance letter you can apply for your study visa. Mm -hmm. So I would advise people that when you're coming here, please have at least, at least your first, second semester, if possible, your third semester school fee in your account. Just have that, like, separate. Have, to, have it sit there. You, yeah. That will not stop you. <laughs> Someone said, I want to study nursing. How do I apply, please? I just apply. Have prerequisites and you can apply. <laughs> have prerequisites and you can apply to nursing. Check this. For most cool. And call them to ask information. Like, I, I should be put online. I would advise anybody. Don't come to British Columbia if you want to study nursing. I'm sorry. I live in British Columbia. I live in back. I live in British Columbia. But if you want to study nursing, check for schools in Alberta and Toronto or Saskatchewan. Toronto? Yeah. That's expensive. You guess, uh, it's expensive, I'll... but they are open to international students. That's what I'm saying. But oh, Alberta or Saskatchewan. Hmm. Yeah. Toronto. Toronto is expensive, but apply to Alberta. I know Alberta and Saskatoon is very good. They are open to um, international students, mm -hmm. and the school is the school fee is not that expensive. But it's just that those those parts of Canada they are very cold. Yeah, they are very cold during winter. Uh, like you want uh, to stay. <laughs> once you finish your program, you can just leave. Like if you feel, you know, if you're not convenient, you can just leave. Should I apply for practical nurse first or BSN? Hmm, that's a good. question. So for BSN. That's what I was saying. There's a long waiting list for BSN for people that wants to. BSN is ready to for you to become a registered nurse. There's usually a long waiting list. But if you are lucky and the school you are applying to does not have a long waiting list, you can just enter into BSN straight if you have good grades and all that. But for people that um, there's a long waiting list and you don't want to wait that long, you can apply to practical nursing. If you get in after practical nursing, there's there's a bridging program. Okay. So if you studied um, practical nursing, you can bridge straight into RN. It's not like after you finish the school, then you have to start applying again, especially if the school you are in, the school you studied your practical nurse, also has RN. If, for instance, my school has RN, mm -hmm. I won't go to school to apply. I will just bridge straight into RN. RN. Who does not have registered nurse? No, they just what they have is LPN and psych nursing, and I'm not really interested in psych nursing. Makes so, you can do if you can't wait for like five years or two years, you can just do practical nursing, and after your practical nursing, you bridge into RN. So, that's 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 a good one, yeah. That's a good one, yeah. Yeah, isn't that a question for the quality day? Yeah, I apply for practical. Okay, we really ask you want to leave Nigeria next later next year. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you want to leave Nigeria? You can leave Nigeria, but you must be ready to do the job. Or you must be ready yes. to do the work. Like, oh <laughs> yeah, here yeah, yeah. you fuck cool. <laughs> cool. hey. It's by the same time you just have to like you know how to figure out your shit, man. People are doing it. Yeah, you have to be very strong and independent. If you have parents that are supporting you, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And please, what advice? You have for people in business finance i want to move to medical management so medical management in what terms like um do you want to um be a medical doctor study nursing or do you want to go into med or do you want to study medicine i need to I, I want to understand what you're saying but if you study business and finance and you want to go into other aspect of healthcare maybe you want to study healthcare management so you just look for a school and uh, they're studying like the course you want to do if it's not nursing or medicine you can just look for a school that is studying um there's um there's this program that my younger sister studied public health yeah public health you can apply to public health you can study public health but if you want to go into nursing you had business before I advise you, you can start by applying to LPN. You can do your LPN. Then after, you can bridge into RN. It's a long time, but yeah, if it's what you really want, I don't think you should think about the time. How do I apply? Hello, please. I came late. How do I apply for nursing? I already have a BSc and the issue with age. Age, age does not matter. <laughs> you will stop doing this age thing. We've answered this question before, guys. Sorry, I left for a second, but I asked, I asked what? 
And I asked him, so it's so I, I, I don't think the, the class so uh, was, were you agreed? We already said it, like Ola said, apply to schools that have accelerated program, accelerated nursing. Don't just apply to nursing as if you are starting from the beginning. Apply to schools that have nursing after program because you have a degree before. So mm -hmm. nursing after degree program, instead of you to do, instead of you doing four years, you do two years. But make sure you take your prerequisites. Prerequisites like chemistry, psychology, physics, biology, anatomy, and physiology. So if you have all that, just apply to the school and you're good to go. Um, someone said I already have a degree in business and I just got admitted to the college for pre health science. What's my well, just had chances? Grace, what's, man. What is pre health science? Um, I think like, um, pre like when you want to take all those prerequisite courses. Oh, yeah, take the prerequisite courses, make sure you do very well. Talking about what are, what are my visa chances, Grace, you gotta please. Wait, gotta wait, wait. wait. That's true. See, I normally tell people that when you're applying to come and study, that's one of the restraints. And that's one of the mistakes. All these visa agents, they don't tell you. They don't tell you these things. When you're applying to come and study in Canada, make sure you're not really applying to colleges. Apply to a university. Apply to a university. Don't apply to a college. Don't apply to a college when you're coming to Canada. It might, they might deny you that visa. Apply to a university. Yeah. Apply to but, a university. Better. University. I know people actually apply to colleges and they get... Like, what's the... Some, some colleges have a degree program, right? Some colleges are actually... Have... But it's, it's very tricky. It's very tricky. They can be very... No, no, no. no. I, plus, I, I feel like my advice, that I, what advice I give to people most times are like apply to, I know people that apply to college and they're here, but I'm mm -hmm. saying apply to a university is better. Like the upper hand, right? Like it takes... It's better. It's an upper hand, yeah. 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 I, so you give an upper hand. Like, you, you get that to be pretty helpful because the person that handles your host name, your visa application to... <laughs> <laughs> So because see and the thing is no it's not i don't know some people might say luck mm -hmm. but i'm very keen on being prayerful mm -hmm. i'm very keen on showing original documents yeah yeah so the thing is that if they're saying that um you have to when you're applying for your because when you're applying for your visa you have to show statement of account of either your parents or yourself if you're sponsoring yourself they will say maybe you should have like maybe one year living cost mm -hmm. and maybe another um, your next that school fee mm -hmm. and see if that money is going to be like 10 million era mm -hmm. depending on how prayerful you are and the person that is handling your documents sometimes you might not have up to that 10 million era in your account um. and with faith you apply and they will give you that visa and sometimes you might have more than that 10 million era and you apply, and they will not give you that visa. I'm a living testimony of that. Just <laughs> I'm yeah. supposed to have that. And my parents are supposed to have a certain amount of money in their account. Yeah, and account. They that. And I applied for my visa with God, God's grace and His mercy. I got the visa. That I was saying, like, depends on the what's the name. The, on the, person, the, person, <laughs> the That's the person. That point is, the person I'll say yes or no. It's just like you. <laughs> Maybe if the person is going through a breakup. This is just your visa. Oh, oh, like, his wife is just got him angry. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the person will just cancel your visa, but this was good mood. Yeah, and they will check. I just feel like sometimes you don't even use to check because they be like, Oh, they just don't feel you're not be coming back to Canada, or they don't feel like you have enough points to take care of yourself when you get to Canada. And when you look at the bank statement they use, if you see like 10 million inside their account, I'd be like, Okay, what exactly do you guys, you know, you what know, are you for? yeah, so I think. Is I think it depends on the document the person now decides to check. So if for me, what are the documents? I think <laughs> when I applied for my visa, I actually applied by myself. I didn't <laughs> use any agent. I applied by myself. So when I was applying, my friend was telling me something. See, there's no document that is too small. Use everything. There's no document that is irrelevant. I put my picture. <laughs> oh God, I don't, that was another day. Just let me just <laughs> let me talk to you with laugh here. I another. 
Girl, what? <laughs> I, I'm t- I laugh. I say, don't worry. One day I'll just say about my disciple. <laughs> laugh. Hey, you will laugh. It's actually a very funny process. And um, yeah, but it's just God's grace and His mercy. So just make sure you put real documents. Don't fake anything. That's don't good. fake. Don't try to put any fake documents and all that. Just make sure you do the right thing. Put original documents and you'll be fine. What's your take on living standard and what's move? What's 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 move? Your li- okay, so <laughs> living standard here. If you want to come to BC, Vancouver is expensive. If you want to go and live in Toronto, where life is happening, it's expensive. You have to be ready. But if you now decide to move to a place like um, the places that I know that are cheap, I think even in BC, Nanaimo is kind of cheap, right? Living expensive. Yeah, yeah like it is kind of cheap. Yeah, Nanaimo is cheap in BC. Yeah. Uh, coming to a particular province, I would not like I would not expect you to live in the big big city. You can live in the neighboring, the side side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those places that are cheap. When you are living in the real main, so, okay. uh, so, 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 so like Toronto now. If you want to go to Toronto, mm. if you want to live in the city of Toronto, my brother, my sister, you have to be rich. Um, any cheap universities for accelerated nursing? I'm gonna try. Yeah, you know, I can do a video on it. I think, I, I think, um, I should be an ambassador for University of Lethbridge. You like the school? I love the school. It's yeah. actually they don't stress you. Yeah. They are really open. They are very attentive. If you send them a mail, they reply you immediately. Like, they are very... They have their own bad, too, yeah? Because I'm not yet in the school. I'm just going to the school. So, I'm sure they will have their own bad. But when it comes to responding to your questions, they are very good. And it's not so expensive. But regardless, as an international student, it's still going to be expensive. Even 30K is not cheap. 30... Do you know what $30,000 is in Naira? That's no. million Naira. Like, it's key. Be like, it's him. And when I finished calculating my school fees, I was like, okay, I spent 64K. Then can't even spend 64K for four years in university. I like 16 million. No. So much that business really lasted four years ago. Ah. <laughs> Imagine if your father gave you 60 million to start business. <laughs> million to start business. Yes, so the, the money, no money, no money is small. So as an international student, regardless of whether you're doing accelerated or you're going straight to start your BSN from the scratch, mm-hmm. It's still expensive. It's not less than I'm just telling you now. It's not less for an international say. It's not less than thirty thousand dollars. It's not less than that. I mean, I'm asking you. Do you do you like do you well? Do you regret moving from Nigeria? <laughs> you? Oh. <laughs> do I regret moving from Nigeria? No, I don't. I feel nobody used to regret moving from Nigeria, but when it comes to the part, some, people, that... some people do. <laughs> some people do, but I have no, I don't regret because I feel like the amount of progress I've made. In my life, if I was in Nigeria, I wouldn't have. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have. I have not. See, when I first got here, I'm not going to lie to you. I think for two weeks, I was crying repeatedly. Uh-huh. And I was crying because, yeah, because I was like, because I, I didn't understand. Like, yeah. I was like, why am, why am I here? Those are the questions you will ask yourself when you move here. And I'm telling you, people might not tell you, but I'll tell you. First two weeks, I was asking myself. <laughs> I was asking myself why did I come here? What am I doing here? I left my life. I left a lot of things in Nigeria and I came here. I, I'm like, okay, what am I doing here? What? But after some time, I had to pray direction. And again, you can be here two years and you will not have direction. That's so it's true. Possible. That's true. If you don't know what you're doing, you can be here for two years, three years, and you don't have direction and you will be frustrated. But mm-hmm. if you pray... You meet the right people. Make sure you don't come here and you're meeting people that will just the only Straight. thing is partying and going out and buying clothes. Mm-hmm. You see, those things you will do. Nobody, I'm not saying I don't buy clothes or I don't buy things, but you have to have direction. I so, think like, I- mm-hmm, and think fast because you were not born here. You just you came here when you're like a grown up, an adult. So you have to learn. You have to start, you have to learn things of 20 years in like a year. So mm-hmm. it can be frustrating, but I, d- I don't have any regrets. I don't Ma- have any And that asking of questions is actually very important when you pull up. Like, it's very good. Ask you don't know, 
opinion, then you have to see it. Then you pick the best. Dig it. And, so, and some people will mess you up. Some exactly. People, some people will lie to you. Some people would. Some people would not tell you the whole truth. Just, but just yeah. ask, never, never get tired of asking. Mm -hmm. Like people might look at you and say, ah, this person is going to stop me. This person makes too much of noise. If people cannot answer you again, go online. Another person. Yes. No, you don't have to go, go and meet another person. Yeah, or go and meet another person. Or <laughs> go on. If you feel like, see, if you are shy, don't, don't come here. <laughs> if you are shy, Please leave your shyness at the airport. Motala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos. Leave that shyness. There. Oh, I mean, like you have to smart up in a way whereby people are, people should not step on you. Do you get? Because mm -hmm. when people weak, not like you should not like be yourself here. Yeah? But when people see that you're weak, they're gonna step on the fact. Okay, yeah, she doesn't know what's up. Let's just you know. That's because uh -huh. you're when you're in school, your classmates. <laughs> because you're going to have I a lot of assignments. Ask you. I just give them face. God knows we don't. Because the first semester I was asking like, oh, I'll show you friendly, you know, you be, you know, oh, they are white, like you wanna be close to them. But then I forgot like these people don't give a shit about you. I'm like, you know what? Please, I'm my own boss on my own. I beg, let me just focus on my own life. <laughs> I go to class alone, I use class. But yes. the only thing I always ask I always have is when I wanna ask questions, they'll be like, Oh, Allah's accent is so strong. Like everybody should keep quiet, let the last speak. I feel that's the only pressure I used to have. But today I change it for them because like, what's it say? <laughs> ah. <laughs> English is English. They just like my roommate used to say, they understand you. They just want you to use your tongue. My problem is, I used to hear them clearly when they speak. So, why can't you guys just pay attention when I speak? Why do you have to repeat myself like three times? But when other people speak, like, can you, when anybody can be talking and everything, not stress me out on the screen. But my fault is, <laughs> like, I just do. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not that, yeah, it's not that, it's not our vibe. You just have to you adjust to a lot of things. Culture shock, the communication. Like somebody will just come from nowhere. They want to be asking questions about your life. So, you know, in Nigeria, when when someone comes to ask you a question about your life, you're like, why is this person asking me a question about my life? What do you want to know? So fair, so fair yeah. okay. Okay. But here, you will just see someone that you meet someone for the first time. The person will tell you the history of their life, how their mother left their house, how their boyfriend. The you know, will just start talking and talking and talking. Yeah. But, like, but that's how they, that's how they are. Like those, are those kind of things, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Like there's no any ah, yeah, yeah. So they're gonna tell you whatever they feel they tell you. And yeah. trust the person said, like you'll be like confident to the person. So to so release both stress and what's the move on? Like Ali like yeah, the person has already. <laughs> they don't keep things in mind like that, yeah. So that's basically the that. other question before we go. That's all. I think that's all. So, guys, I'm gonna be putting this. I'm gonna try and join the live video together. It's actually long, like it's an hour something. I wish if I, I wish I can divide it, but I don't think I have that kind of chance to be dividing videos for you guys. But I'm gonna put like down my YouTube channel. You guys should go check it out. Um, I'm gonna put um Remy's link in the description below, so you guys can follow her on YouTube as well. Follow her, subscribe to her channel, follow her on Instagram. So if you guys have any other question, you know, go and ask her on her YouTube. So if you want to do a different video regarding that, it's gonna be it's gonna be very good. So she, um, she, um, Remy, she talk more about nothing, man. We need you on board. Dig it. You know, your yeah. little experience so that people will, like can know that, okay, at least they have someone in Canada that is doing the program that did not study science in Nigeria before coming. Yeah, that would be a very good video idea. Yeah, I would, I'll try, I'll try to, I'll try to do a live video and talk. I think, I feel like when I was talking today, I was speaking, I was talking from here and there. No, it's it's okay. Like it's sweet because that's the whole point. Like it's not about life. Is like it wasn't straight. There yeah. was the, like it was yeah. not like yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, and they, like no, it was not so straight. I, yeah, I feel like I'll do like a more detailed video later, and I'll let Ola know and yeah, yeah and post it on. Yeah, yeah. I'll like a live video and talk about more about nursing and program, yeah. what you can make, how much the school fee is, and the now, whole process. Like, yeah. It can be like maybe like a mom like a playlist whereby it'd be like okay how to get uh Muslim how to get admission into nursing program in Canada. Other video can be about uh Muslim um what's the uh, um admission requirement for people coming from Nigeria for Mondagari and all that'll be like a long maybe 10-10 minute video. YouTube is gonna pay your money eventually. Um, <laughs> it'll come up and you'll be like, okay, uh Muslim school fees like um schools in Canada that we, and since they love leverage so much, they can start using you as Muslim name advertisement. <laughs> 
you know how much I advertise for VIU, VIU, my school. Because the point, I'm like, you know, what? I'm not gonna mention my school name again, man. Like, no, <laughs> they yeah. get, they're already saying they would like that. So you know, you should just you know break it down for them on your page. So I can always find them to your page. Like, okay, you guys have question about nothing. Go to Remy's. You know, she has so much in you know, answer she has given you guys. So anybody can actually watch it any year. So they have an idea about your own experience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank yes, you for having me, guys. Thank you. Thanks for coming on board. I appreciate this, man. Guys, I slept on me. I have to wake with Olaf for a money. I'm much a genius. Yeah, it was nice. Guys, yeah. You guys, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I'm gonna leave the video on my IGTV as well. Okay, so in case people still wanna comment or something, and I'm gonna catch you guys later. Bye, okay. Remy. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It has come to the end of this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below what you think about this video. I hope this video was actually helpful for you guys. Um, for people that actually want to study nursing, like I did like four episodes of this video. So if you've not checked the other videos, please go check it out. Um, ask questions, drop your question in the comment section below. I hope Remy can come up here to like, you know, reply to you guys. And I'm going to catch you guys in my other videos. Please share this video with your friends, okay? So you won't be the only one to learn from it. I'm gonna catch you guys back. Bye.